Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Roland Studios. Um, I thought I would work on my ditty box here today and just kind of see where it takes us. So i probably put uh, most of this in time lapse. Uh, since our last live, this is what I worked on, and I know I've shown this in a couple of other videos, but let me just zoom in on this. All right, so we have the little um, bubbles, which are these nice little acrylic bubbles that are embedded into the project. We also use, and those were from um, the Dress It Up company. Here we go. And we've got the Bray Reese Texture Pebbles. So right here is what these are. Did some, uh, I don't remember, I think we used um, Mod Podge and then it was too thin when it dried. I came back with some um, glossy accents and gave it some depth and uh, added some sparkle paint. And since then, I also put a little rope around the bottom right here. And of course, the anchor, we uh, changed the color from that uh, brassy color to a more silvery pewtered, um, I haven't rusted it, but I did patina it a little bit. And these are actual shells on this side. And when the box opens up, it comes apart, and so you don't miss anything. Let me just back that off just a little bit, see there? Okay, and then, uh, since the live, this was the piece that I had on the back originally. Wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, and this is where I put it. I also used some uh, paper clay pieces that I had. I saved my polymer clay for sculpting uh, like med medallions and stuff like that and whatever else I get into, some uh, journal covers and whatnot. So I use a lot of my paper clay for little things like this, but it still works. And every time you open the box, part of it comes open. I put a little jewel right here. I'll probably put more. And then if you'll remember on the live, um, if you were around, uh, we painted with mica powders. That's what's on. That's what these were painted with was the mica powders. And I've come back with some pearl paint uh, by Folk Art, I think it was, and just kind of gave it a little more of a sheen there. I'll probably need a little more blue. Uh, there's just a, a hint of blue there. And then this is a paper clay shell, and I painted it pearl. So, I don't know, we'll probably spruce that up a little bit. So, so far, that's what we have. And then, I just put out my video of the Scrimshaw Can't Draw Helpful Tips and Tricks of the shell. And, and if you're in my group, uh, Out of the Box Creations, I have left a template of the shell that I did so that you could practice um, doing the Scrimshaw on a flat surface. This is with Yupo paper. Um, and so I'm going to use this. If you can see, it has been etched. Oh, my lighting's not that great. Let me just zoom in here. There we go. How about that? Um, so we did, in fact, etch and use oil pastels to give it the color and the depth of the etching. And I am trying to determine where I'm going to put this and or if I will be doing another one for the box but I think I want to put this on the top of the box I think that's what I'm going to do for my ditty box and I think we'll just start with that so while you're watching I'm gonna throw this in time-lapse and just kind of take off wherever it takes me okay see you in a minute and thanks for coming and if you haven't joined the out of the box creations facebook group please do so all my links will be below in the description box under this video in the drop down bar and please um leave me a comment 
if you would subscribe if you like this technique and think that you might want to use it um, I plan on doing some other things in between this series as well because I I'm, you know I get bored with one thing so I got to switch switch things out so for now I'm gonna work on this ditty box and get it done I would love to get it done and uh, I gotta let y'all know if you have followed me at all you would know that my truck was stolen and I lost a whole bunch of stuff well I found a project that I was in the middle of and had not been able to finish now tonight I just glued this little scully on I think we called him one eye but I'm not sure I don't remember but uh, this is the scryer glass that I was working on it's got the little coins little uh, some mica flakes it's got a ship right here in the center Let's see if you can see that it's a ship I don't know if the lights catching that well enough or not it actually looks quite distorted. Maybe I need to just put it in the light. Let me put it in the light and then zoom in as far as I can go. There we go. See the little ship? It's so stinking cute. And then we also have uh, various charms, little keys and whatnots. Um, this has... Um, more keys and locks and an anchor and a compass oops here we go a compass i know i'm close but i want you guys to see the detail and here were some more mica flakes along with some uh, chunky glitter i've got a, a little seashell here and a starfish that have yet to be painted um, got the seahorse clay and a little squid <laughs> and I was also working on putting a blue wave around the side and if you don't know what a scryer glass is it is a magnifying glass but when you open this up and I've got to be careful because I just glued him I've got a little map let me back this out just a hair I've got a little map with some stickles and all my stickles was taken so I'm glad I got the stickles in on the map before it was taken so there you go there's that and if you turn out the light you can see the stickles even better isn't that cool and this is a little map and then there's a little charter light like where X marks the spot so to speak this is like in my mind it's kind of like this is the destination we're looking to go so it's just kind of a cute little thing it doesn't light up the whole thing too well um, I thought it was gonna be brighter and light this whole thing up blue but it did not do that but it's still cool and it still works so yeah and this little door swivels and this idea came from Heather Tracy so Heather if you're watching this um, I found it and I will be back on this project soon I can't wait to get back on get back on it and again I have another little ship charm that's dangling off turn that back on and there's another little ship charm I wish I could find more of these I just love them but I got all that I could find I've given some away so I don't I think I may have one or two left and I may put one on my ditty box just because I love it so much <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go ahead and put this in time-lapse and take it from there so enjoy enjoy thank you again so much for being here and being patient with me for all my absentee in the group and uh, in my uh, channel um, I have a lot going on, so I'll get into all that. Y'all know if you follow me. Anyway, here we go.
be the last part of this video. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is take my diamond glaze and seal anything that I've missed. I haven't sealed this yet. Uh, I'm going to probably do a double coat here and reseal some of these other things. Um, this one's sealed really good. I'll probably do an, another coat of sealing on this. I don't want anything to fall off, so including the little, um, the, the sand in the, uh, in the rust crust, so, um, I do not have my wood burner anymore, but I plan to get one soon, and when I do, I'll be writing an inscription or something on this side, so I'm leaving it blank for now. For now, this box is complete other than the inside. Now, I may do another video if I choose to decorate the inside of the box somewhat. I'm going to leave it to where I can actually put my little tools in here, but I love my box. I love my Scrimshaw Diddy box. It will hold my Scrimshaw tools, and I'm just super excited, and I hope you like this. I'm going to off camera finish this and then uh, probably take a couple of extra little pictures and then I guess I'll see you on the next uh, video. Also, um, if you haven't joined my group, please do. Uh, out of the box creations, I've sent a template of this uh, shell that you can scrim your own and I will be doing another video if you don't have the UFO paper, how you can use photo paper. So, we'll be seeing you that uh, next time. So, I'm going to let you go, and you have a wonderful day. God bless. And I hope you like my ditty box. I love it. Okay, bye-bye.